The startling footage we're about to show you was photographed by a 42 year old. All initial opinions are this is genuine. What you're about to see may disturb you. Hey guys, Matt Stevens here. There's been something gnawing at me. I've just had this knot in my stomach. It's so persistent that it hasn't gone away since July 2nd. But I'm not wrong. I'm Matt Stevens. I have 768,359 views. And for those of you who aren't good at math, it's like half a million. Though I don't know why I don't reveal myself because it's also a lot. Let's see, there's mom, cousin Earl, Jack. Well, anyways. Some of you might remember my recent rant. I did not sleep for 31 hours straight. First, I traveled four cities over two days, not to mention suffering from food poisoning. I was jet lagged. I didn't have a good pair of shoes on. You can never overestimate a comfortable pair of shoes. I certainly didn't have my Allen Edmonds on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I swear to God, I am cursed when it comes to dress shoes. Finding that they murder my feet. Murder. Blisters, blood, pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. No. I talked to uh, my buddy Don Haynes. He recommended Allen Edmonds. Who, they make beautiful shoes. They're gorgeous. I think my most recent travels can be best summed up like this. So my intention was to make a response video to my response video about another show's channel. But you know what, I'm still tired, I'm still not clear-minded, so maybe I'll just call it a night and get a good night's sleep. Maybe you'll see me in the morning. We'll see. Matt Stevens out. What's with all the billboards? What's on the wrist? YouTube's most entertaining watch channel. I never heard of you, pal. Well, until now. I guess billboards are a good idea. Wait, what? Matt Stevens, you're wrong. Did I just see that? No. What? It can't be. Are you Matt Stevens? Oh, it looks like I have some fans. That's right, AKA Dalton in the flesh, baby. Can I sign something for you? Ever since you said it was okay to buy a fake, I haven't seen my cousin for eight months. Yeah, you All jerk. All he does is work and has nothing to show for. Well, grammatically speaking, it's nothing to show for all his hard work because we don't end a sentence in a preposition. Oh crap, English may not even be his first language. Get out of the 80s, douchebag. What, nobody talks to Matt Stevens like that. <laughs> Is that secret? What haunts you? Why, why can't I sleep? What's with all these nightmares? I have a clear This is conscience. your conscience, Matt Stevens. You know what the right thing to do. All I want to do is sleep. Make the video. Make the video. Good morning, Matt Stevens is back, and I want to start off this day by saying, wow. What a difference a better night's sleep makes. 
that gnawing sensation that I was complaining about is completely gone where I can look at myself in the mirror again. Look, it takes a big person to admit when he's wrong. I can certainly admit when I'm left and right. The part that I regret saying... He said. What he said. And the part that was, I was, with that internal suffering is from this segment that I'm about to play. Take a look. I just wanted to make a quick comment in response to Andy Hunter's video about replica watches. Now, it's, uh, it's a controversial thing, the idea of replica watches. And Annie did a little video on them and was talking about uh, reasons why they could be acceptable. Acceptable in certain circumstances. And I have to say, I don't disagree with him entirely. I completely regret saying that. And for those 24 seconds, please don't judge me because those 24 seconds do not define who Matt Stevens is. I know I said it's okay to buy a fake if we don't wear that watch out in public, but you know, that's just bull****. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what our intentions are when we buy a fake because the, the money that we spend goes to the exact same source. Yes, there are the criminal activities, the legal versus illegal factor, but the bigger factor is the human factor, the human element, and that means slave labor and human trafficking. It's something that we don't talk about, it's almost taboo, but it's a reality. There is no special funds account where our money goes to when we buy a fake depending on our good intentions. It goes to the same source. The big bosses continue to get paid, and the lower workers, well, they work for peanuts, they work for a nickel a day. Their pay is intentionally calculated so they can never work off the debt that was the plan to begin with. A lot of times it involves their families going to uh, a better place or other personal reasons. And they can never work off that debt. And we're putting those workers in harm's way. If we think we're a better person because we don't wear our fakes in public, knock that thinking off right now. Because we're no better than the person who is openly talking smack at a party. We're the same person except we're huddled in a corner whispering smack about the same person and we're just tossing out an occasional smile. It doesn't make us any better than that other person openly talking smack. The argument about that it's okay to spend $150 on a fake because we want to quote test the waters before we drop $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 on our next watch. That's just nonsense. Man up. Do your, do your research or go visit an AD, but be honest with them so you don't give them false hopes or waste his time. If we really want to be a better person, take that $150 that we were going to spend on a fake and go buy some meals for the next homeless people we see. That'll help make us a better person than simply not wearing a fake out in public. Let's look out for each other and stop with all and worry about the, the human element and the human trafficking. So thanks for listening to my rant and now that I have a clear conscience I was able to make this response video to my own response video. So Matt Stevens out. <laughs> All right, that's enough Matt, calm down. Special thanks to the real Matt Stevens for allowing me to make this video and have some fun with it with his full support and collaboration. When I first approached Matt and I had never met with him or talked to him before I explained the premise and I understood that it could have been perceived as a diss or a roast video, but Matt was really cool about it even if it was. He actually uh, thought it was a funny premise and provided me with some original footage actually, as a filmmaker and I really appreciate that. Uh, in fact, one of the clips that I used in this film was in that dream sequence was the mysterious, mysterious man in the hoodie. That's from Matt's nominated short film from a few years ago titled Trap. And I'll leave a link to that in the description as well as a link to his channel. That short film was really suspenseful and, and well shot. And a few years back, completely unrelated to this channel, I did a lot of research and an investigation into human trafficking. And it's a very depressing subject. It can't be covered appropriately on this channel, but one day if I want to start up another channel with more of a serious tone, then I think that content would be appropriate for that channel. But at least I was able to bring some light to it that is consistent with the tone of this channel. Whenever we talk about fakes, we talk about how distasteful it is, or it, we complain about its poor build quality, 
or how humiliating it is to be caught with one. But we never talk about the human trafficking slave labor. And that's a reality of the fashion industry and the watch world. A few months ago, I did a video uh, titled Homages versus Fake because I take this subject very seriously. And the best way I could tackle this subject was with this video in collaboration with Matt. So thanks again, Matt. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you all the next time. And remember, it is never okay to buy a fake. When I approached Matt, I expected him to say, Dude, did you see my video? Why would I make... When I approached Matt... When I first approached Matt, I, I might... I, I, when I first approached Matt Stevens, I thought maybe he might have said, Dude, did you see the video I made? Why would I want you to make one that's completely opposite of that? Like, Dude, who are you? I own 1700 Dude, who are you? I own 1783 pictures. Yeah. I'm Matt. When I <laughs> When I approached Matt, I felt he would not take himself so seriously, and I felt that Who's sorry now? Yeah, use that song. Connie Stevens. Who's sorry now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I f first approached who? Matt Stevens, that's who. You nutball, you nutcase. Come on, get it together, Matt. Get it together. <laughs>